guys welcome back to another vlog i'm back i need to rebook my facial i was supposed to get one last week it's reminding me right now because i've just noticed like i have all of these like i usually do dermal planing at my facials but i got a little dermal planing razor from flamingo these are the razors that i use like for my body hair and i just love their products so much so i got the dermaplane once i've been seeing so many tiktoks about them and just like watching videos and i love when my face is shaved and well it, your hair doesn't grow back like dark like it does on your body because you're just shaving like very very lightly like i just take the little razor and you just lightly go over all the peach fuzz on your face like especially i get a lot down here so i just like to go and like really lightly get all of that off and it doesn't grow back oh my god it's super light i don't even think you can see it but it's just like very see very light fuzzies and it bothers me <laughs> when i have them on my neck and stuff i got these and i really like them a lot it saves me between like the times when I get a facial so I don't have all that hair. Also, it's very good for exfoliating and just getting rid of dead skin. And I really feel like it smooths out my skin, helps me absorb my products better, my makeup lays better on my face. And it's so satisfying also. It just like gently removes all of your hair. I've seen some people dermaplane with an oil. I personally don't put any oil on my face i don't like putting oil on my face i have super sensitive skin so oil just like does not work for me but if it works for you you can totally do it with an oil if not i just like to do like clean dry skin i didn't quit youtube i have been so sick the past week like i literally can't remember the last time i was this sick I don't know where it came from. I know that a lot of people are dealing with sicknesses, like there's so much going around right now. I have been so sick for so long and I feel like, <laughs> honestly, it got to the point where I was like, am I even gonna get better? Like, this is crazy, but I'm feeling so much better. There's so much going around. When I was at the doctor last Monday, I got tested for like COVID, strep. Like I woke up and I thought that something was seriously wrong. I ended up just having a virus, which the doctor told me was going to take like 7 to 10 days to fully get better from. So I'm feeling so much better and I've gotten so many messages on Instagram and just like comments on my social media from you guys checking in because I haven't posted in so long. A lot of people actually were asking me if I quit YouTube. I was like, oh my god, no, I did not quit YouTube. I just was so sick and honestly like when you're so sick i like didn't want to be like filming myself or like posting anything on instagram like i was just resting i honestly just wasn't even really on my phone i was like i'm not gonna whip out the camera and be like i'm so sick right now and like show the medicine that i was taking something like that i don't know so anyway we're back washing my face right now getting the day started and I just feel like we have a lot to catch up on and I've missed you guys so much and I really appreciate all the messages and everything that you guys were sending since I was gone. So what have you guys been up to? How have you been? I can't believe we're almost done with February. Like we're more than halfway through the month right now and it's just crazy how fast this year has gone by already. Like it's almost March and I just like can't even believe it. Also, what I wanted to talk to you guys about, which I feel like I've been mentioning, honestly, since the beginning of this year, I feel like I've been saying I have so much coming this year that I'm so excited about, like blah, 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 blah. And I haven't said anything to you guys or mentioned anything just because I was waiting for a few things to get finalized, like honestly with like contracts and stuff. And I don't really like to speak on things until it's in writing. And now everything is and we've like started, like we got the ball rolling and we've started the process. So basically what I have been so excited to talk to you guys about and tell you guys about is that I am going to be coming out with two more collections this year with Revolve, 
which I am so, I can't even believe because this was my biggest goal ever, like when I started my YouTube channel. And I've talked about this before because obviously last year, if you don't know, I had a collection with Revolve that launched March 2023. And that was like my biggest dream ever was to come out with a collection with them. I honestly get like, used to journal about it. And that was like my biggest goal and we achieved that. So I was so excited. Now, after it was done, I was like, okay, like it was definitely going to be one of those things where... It was like, oh, I thought that it was going to be kind of like a one and done. They came back at the beginning of this year and they asked me to do two more collaborations with them this year. And I'm so excited about it. The first collection is going to come out in like May, June. And I want to be able to bring you guys along with me throughout that whole entire process. And I really want to hear your input this time and like get to know what you guys would want to see from me and like what pieces you want to see in my collection because I want you guys to be able to like be as excited as I am and just bring you guys throughout the process. So we're going to do that. I made a mood board a couple of weeks ago and I sent it over to the brand just about like the vibe that I want, photos that inspired me and pieces that I would want to be in my collection. My collection last time was a lot of neutral pieces that were, could be styled many different ways, like a lot of pieces that were very versatile. So yeah, <laughs> but I don't know. I'm just so excited. I really wanted to tell you guys about it because I want to bring you guys along with me throughout that whole process and I want you guys to be very involved this time around. So excited about that. They sent over a deck for me to look through, which I've been looking through over this past week. I have to send like my edits and revisions and stuff by the end of the month on the 26th. So I still have a, some time to do that. But anyway, I'm going to be doing a lot, I think, over on my Instagram. So make sure you're following me on Instagram because that's where everything will be able to be like the most interactive. And I'm going to do stuff on my story where I'll ask you guys like what, say if you wanted more since the collection's coming out. One of them is in like spring, early summer. And then the other one I'm assuming is going to be like fall, which I'm so excited about the fall collection. You guys know fall's like my favorite season. I love fall fashion, but I want to know like what types of pieces you guys want from me. And yeah, so I'm going to be doing like a lot of polls, a lot of question boxes like this or that, stuff like that. So make sure that you're following along on my Instagram so you don't miss out on any of that because I want you guys very involved in the process. So that is super exciting. That's one thing that I've been just like waiting to tell you guys and I also did want to just say thank you guys so much for all of your support and uh, I don't know I just like would not be able to do any of this if it weren't for you guys so I wanted to let you guys know how much I truly truly appreciate all of your support on my videos and just if you've been a follower for years or if you just started following me like I appreciate each and every one of you so much no matter how long you've been here for the journey so yeah that's everything with my Revolve collections. That's like my biggest announcement that I had. Also, we have finalized Emma's bachelorette trip, which I'm super excited about. And I'm gonna talk to her actually before I share any details about that. I do wanna show a lot of my planning and like stuff that I'm doing for the bachelorette because I don't know, as a maid of honor, I feel like you have so many responsibilities in the wedding. In a wedding and I just want to be able to show like what I am planning and what I'm doing for all the girls and obviously for Emma but I'm gonna ask her because I know that she's been super private about like her wedding planning and stuff like that and I don't want to give too much away because isn't it supposed to be like a surprise for the bride I don't know so I gotta figure that out but we secured the house that we're staying at we have like all the details and the dates and just we're doing something very very fun and i feel like very different so 
I'm excited and I'm obviously excited to bring you guys along through that process. I want to share like everything I'm doing. I want to get like all the girls really cute matching like PJ sets and I want to do like silk pillowcases for the bed. I also really want to do like MEJ hairbrushes and clips and like do like a whole entire theme for the weekend because you guys know that those are my favorite like these clips right here i have like so many of them in my drawer in my bathroom so i want to do like a whole mej thing have like silk slip silk pillowcases with like everyone's initials and maybe well we can save robes for the wedding weekend but i don't know there's just so much stuff that i've been thinking about and that i've been trying to plan and that's another big thing that's going on right now so i'll keep you guys updated on that and i'll probably share more in another video but i also do want to share that part because i feel like that's a big obviously big part of the year and if you're also a maid of honor or in a wedding party and i don't know just kind of want to see because this is the first wedding that i've ever been a part of i haven't been to that many weddings before like i've been a guest to a few of them but i've never actually been in a wedding so this is like my first time and i honestly like didn't know like all the stuff that went into it and i just want to share like the process and share what i'm doing and stuff like that so excited about that exciting things coming and yeah Just got to Newberry. It's like sunny, but snowing. But the snow's not sticking. It's just like flurrying and it looks so pretty. But it's a Saturday, so it's like crazy downtown. And I had to park. Well, you guys can't see it because. Actually, maybe you can. There's a fire hydrant somewhere <laughs> over there, which obviously you can't park in a spot with a fire hydrant. But there's no spots on the street. And I need to go into Ramoa, which is right there. And I'm gonna be in there for two seconds. I just have to drop off my suitcase. I have a trunk suitcase from Ramoa and it's like cracked on the top. Like something obviously happened to it when I was traveling and you can bring your suitcase back there. They have like a lifetime warranty and I just haven't done it. So I'm like, you know what? Today I'm gonna go drop it off because every single time I go to travel, I like pack my stuff and I'm like, oh my God, I forgot that my suitcase is literally broken on the top. So I'm gonna go bring it there and drop it off so it can get repaired today. Does anybody else get to the grocery store and then sit in their car for like 20 minutes and plan what they're gonna get? Because that is exactly what I just did. I need stuff to make dinner tonight and I want just like stuff to make lunch. I have been like really wanting to just cook a lot at home especially since i was just sick and i feel like i was traveling before that like i was in miami for a while and i was eating out and i just like want to be able to cook and have meals at home breakfast lunch and dinner and so that's what we're gonna do i just made a whole list of things that i wanted to get i've been loving nara smith on tiktok i've been watching all her videos and it's been inspiring me to make stuff from scratch so I made a list of everything that I need to go get and we're gonna go get it all. Okay, we just got home from the grocery store. We're gonna do a little grocery haul. I just realized that there's a couple of things that I forgot, but it's okay because it was for a lunch anyway, so I can just go back out and get it tomorrow. I was going to get prosciutto and then I was going to get a salami because I really want to make a sandwich with like mozzarella and tomato and this truffle mayo and like all this other stuff on these baguettes that I got. One of them I got for a sandwich and then one of them I got for a 
garlic bread that I'm gonna make tomorrow with a roasted tomato soup, and I'm very excited about that. But anyway, got some coconut milk because I'm gonna make some date caramel, and that's why I also got some powdered sugar. We have pineapple, butter, Honeycrisp apples, all the tomatoes, avocado, a bunch of different types of cheeses, some vanilla bean, ice cream, basil, rosemary, chives, onions, and then strawberries. I got the powdered sugar because I'm making homemade whipped cream. I don't know why, I don't, I don't know. My mind is like all over the place right now. And then I got <laughs> lemons, limes, some potatoes because I'm gonna make like burger bowls tonight excited about that garlic and then I got some ground beef I also got these two steaks which I've never seen these before at Whole Foods usually I just get steak from the butcher but I think I might freeze one of these actually no I'm not because I feel like whenever I freeze my meat I like never use it or take it out of the freezer but I got a strip steak I really want like steak and eggs in the morning like cheesy eggs I don't know why I've been like, craving that and then I got oh, romaine for my burger bowls, some jalapeno peppers, chuff, mayo, and then these Calabrian chili peppers. Okay, for dinner tonight, I'm gonna be making burger bowls and I have my french fries already cut i just cut up the two potatoes and i put them in a bucket of ice water it's going to make them super crispy i'm going to cook them in my air fryer and i started well i was going to start making the burger sauce and i realized that my pickles that i had i had the gorillas pickles and they were expired so i just ordered some dill pickles off of gopuff because i honestly don't feel like leaving right now i'm going back out to the store so waiting for that to come and then I'm going to make my burger sauce. We have mayonnaise, ketchup, yellow mustard. We're going to add some dill pickles and some vinegar, salt, pepper, stuff like that. We have our lettuce. I just wash all the strawberries because I'm going to make the whipped cream in a little bit. So we have that. I guess I could get started on... I have to cut up some red onion and I also have to cut up some tomato. I'm just... Trying to see which one would be. Ooh, this one feels good. Okay, then I'm gonna use this one. I'm also gonna take out these potatoes right now and just dry them off on some paper towel. Get all the moisture out. I should probably put these in the air fryer because they're not gonna. I feel like they're not gonna take that long to cook. Well, they're gonna be the longest out of everything. I feel like I definitely need to get them started before. I start, well, they can be cooking while I'm like cutting up all the sides. I'm trying to think if I want to keep the fries like super simple or if I want to add like garlic powder, salt, pepper. I think I'm going to do that. A little bit of garlic powder. Okay, so we're making this so oh, <laughs> we're making this sauce. I'm gonna do like this much ketchup. This is like the ratio that I'm doing. Give this a little mix. Okay, everything is done and it looks and smells so good. I can't wait. I've never had a burger bowl. You guys obviously know I love burgers, but I decided to try the bowl version. Look at these fries also, they came out so perfect. I've already tried a few of them and they're so good. So I guess now time to assemble our little bowls. I don't know. I think I'm gonna do them, do it in sections. <laughs> so I'm gonna do a little bit of lettuce on this side. Actually, I'm gonna do lettuce on the bottom and then I'm gonna do meat on top of the lettuce. I do actually also want to see if I have a little bit of avocado. Oh my god, thank god this avocado is perfect. I've been getting really lucky with the avocados at the store. Perfect. I normally don't like avocado on my burgers, but 
I definitely would like it on the bowl. Okay, let's add some tomato. I decided to saute the onion just because I feel like I didn't want, I didn't want my mouth to taste like raw onion after I was done eating. We're just gonna do the whole entire half of the avocado. This is honestly also like a really balanced meal. We have our protein, veggies, healthy fats, starch. I'm gonna add a little bit of salt on top of my avocado burger sauce, which came out perfect. I'm just gonna drizzle this all on the top. Okay, <laughs> this looks so good. We have the fries and then I'm gonna do a side of truffle mayo with the fries. Mm-hmm. Oh my god, wow. That would be so good. I'm almost done with this candle, which I love to reuse the containers once I'm done with my dip tea candles. I like to obviously reuse them and like, this would be even cute to put flowers in, like as a little vase, but I still have some left to burn. But this one over here, on the other hand, is ready to go. So what I'm gonna do, I'm actually making a tea right now so I just boiled some hot water and I'm gonna make a little tea but while I do this I'm also gonna put some hot water into the candle container because if you want to get all that wax out if you put boiling hot water it'll just float all the way to the top so I'm just gonna fill that up and let it sit and then tomorrow morning I will be able to just like take all the wax once it floats up and then clean this and be able to use it <laughs> first off. I mean, I have so many at this point. I'm like, what more? Like, how many more of these do I need? But I love to use it to like put my makeup brushes in or stuff like that, I don't know. I'm also gonna use some hot water to soak my dates because I'm gonna be making a date caramel. So I'm gonna just let these soak for about 10 to 15 minutes. Use up <laughs> the rest of the water in that kettle because I'm not feeling like going upstairs yet. I am gonna go up and take a bath, but I don't know. I'm like excited about all of my cooking that I have this weekend. So I really wanted to make this before I headed up and like did skincare and got ready for bed and stuff. So I could have it in the fridge and it could be chilled and ready for tomorrow. Okay, so I ended up putting all the dates into a blender and then I added some coconut milk i did about like probably a fourth cup and i added some vanilla and like a pinch of sea salt and look at this consistency it looks so good so i'm gonna add it into this little container and then put it into the fridge this looks so good had the most peaceful peaceful morning and it's been so relaxing i am like finally feeling like 95 percent better from my sickness also sorry i haven't obviously done anything with my hair today i throw in a hat when i walked milo because it's so cold and if i look a little bit crazy i apologize but Anyway, just finished up breakfast. I've been loving having like Greek yogurt bowls in the morning. They've been so good. I've been doing a lot of fresh fruit. I started that when I was sick. Also, I really need like a lip balm or something. You guys know how I am. <laughs> like when I'm talking, if I don't have anything on my lips, I'm like, I like need something. But I started that when I was sick because I obviously was looking up like what to eat if you have a cold 
or a virus like things that were gonna boost your immunity and just give your body all like the vitamins and nutrients that it needs so i read that it was really good to eat fresh fruit i have been having a lot of citrus also i have those what are these called they have a name the oranges that have that thing at the top i've been loving these i've been mixing greek yogurt with like a bunch of honey and cinnamon and then peeling these and dipping the orange into the yogurt it's been so good and this morning i just did obviously like a little berry bowl greek yogurt honey cinnamon a little bit of almond butter on top i've been loving almond butter also fun fact if you have acne prone skin like me obviously i have really struggled peanut butter can be a trigger for acne and for me personally i just like to get almond butter and almond based things and so i did a little bit of almond butter on top oh also my green tea with honey and lemon since i've been sick i've only had coffee once which in the past it's almost been two weeks wait has it almost been two weeks yeah almost been two weeks and i've only had one coffee so i'm just like really on a tea kick right now and i just feel like my coffee that i had yesterday which was the first coffee i had in so long it made me so anxious like i was noticing when, when i was vlogging once i got so anxious and in my own head i was like wait why am I doing this? Like I was filming my grocery haul and I almost stopped and said something to you guys. But I was like, why am I doing this? Like I felt so weird. My heart started beating. I'm like, I'm so anxious right now. Like why am I filming myself and like showing my groceries? Like I was way too in my own head about it because the coffee, like I had so much caffeine in it that I was like, as I was speaking and vlogging, which I have been doing for seven years, I was just like getting such bad anxiety. And it was because of all the caffeine and then I was laying in bed at night and I like had anxiety again I was just having a lot of anxiety yesterday and I was like wait I have felt so good since I haven't been Like drinking a ton of coffee, which obviously it's probably not going to stay that way You know when you're like feeling under the weather and you don't like things or it's not like appealing to you Like things that you have every single day and things that you liked before I don't know, I feel like after being sick, the things that I liked having every day changed. But anyway, just relaxing right now and it's Sunday. So today's just gonna be a chill day. I was like thinking of going to the gym, but I'm like, I kind of just wanna start working out again on Monday because I feel like Sunday is like a really crazy day at the grocery store and a really crazy day at the gym. Like everybody's, you know, like get out and about getting their stuff done it's the weekend so i honestly might just like take the day off i kind of want to clean out my closet there's a few things that i need to go up and do on my computer and more cooking today which i'm excited about i have like the roasted tomato soup that i'm gonna make later with like a really yummy garlic bread like dipper it's gonna be so good my mouth is watering thinking about it so i'm excited about that and uh, yeah making a little sandwich for lunch i am gonna toast the bread i have this lake creuset pan that i'm gonna toast it up i just did some olive oil and i'm just waiting for that to heat up so we can start cutting up the tomato i'm gonna do tomato mozzarella basil balsamic and then we have some flaky salt i wish that i had prosciutto I didn't end up getting it at the store yesterday, but it's okay. I did a TikTok about my sandwich. Oh my God, you guys, sorry, the lighting is like so weird. Right now in my kitchen, but come on, it's so good. So delish. Oh my God, I just had my camera like resting on the heater. And I thought that my camera was literally going to explode. I'm just waiting for my sauna to heat. Well, I mean, it's at 124. I like like 135. That's like my favorite temperature. But I have my little towel. I'm going to wrap myself up in a towel in a second. I just wanted to like get warm for a minute because it's so cold outside. But I have been thinking to myself all morning. I just cleaned up the whole entire kitchen. I just put a load of laundry in. I'm going to do towels 
and just finish up all the laundry that I have from this weekend and I want to clean out my closet and I've just been like having such a good peaceful weekend and then I r realized that tomorrow is President's Day so nobody's working so it's a long weekend and I have just had the best weekend honestly and I was supposed to be away in Florida well everyone else is there I'm not there <laughs> but I made the decision to not go on the trip and I feel like it was one of the best things that best decisions that I've made for myself in 2024 I've really wanted to keep the promises that I make to myself and that has a lot to do with just like goals that I have for myself and things I wanted to work on and one of the things I really wanted to work on this year was saying no and not having feeling the need to like have to explain myself and having no be my answer so I decided to not go on the trip because I obviously was sick for the past week and I knew that once I started to feel better I was gonna have like so much work to catch up on from when I was sick and I wanted to be able to do that this weekend I wanted to be able to get my house organized I wanted to be able to clean out my closet I really want to post a lot of stuff on my Poshmark and just like stay home and cook really yummy foods and just like take care of myself and my body and everything and instead of like obviously going away and traveling where I don't know when I travel like I don't obviously get as good sleep when I'm not home and then just like going out to eat for every meal having drinks more than I normally would stuff like that so I decided to stay home and it's been so honestly like so nice yeah so I just wanted to talk about that in case there's anybody out there watching that struggles with saying no because I feel like it's still something that I'm working on now but I'm the type of person where I'm such a people pleaser and I feel like I say yes to everything even though it might ruin like my plan and my schedule because like I want to make the other person happy so I'm really working on that this year like saying no and having like no be my answer anyway I'm gonna sauna and then I think we're gonna go up I really want to do an everything shower I was just thinking about it because since I'm not working out today I do want to put on self tanner I got a new self tanner in and we might do that hi guys good morning I'm so confused I don't think I'm in the right, I don't think I'm in like a parking spot right now. I'm, I just pulled in to this spot. Okay, and this makes no, no sense. So, okay, see the car in front of me? There's like meters right there and then there's meters, like a meter literally right next to me and I'm parked next to the curb. But I'm confused because there's like pole, like those little poles but then there's parked cars on this side, so I think I'm not even in a spot. Like, I think I'm in... <sighs> like, I think the spots are right here. But there was a car right there, so I was like, oh, I think that these are spots. But there's no way that these are spots. Like, and But I have no way to get out. I'm going to have to back up. Because I'm not even in... Like, how did I even get in here? And how am I going to get out of here? That's what I'm... That's what I'm wondering. Okay, yeah. I'm not even in a spot right now. Thank God I didn't leave my car. <laughs> Thank God I didn't leave my car. And go... I mean, I'm, I really have nowhere to go right now. It's Monday. Hopefully I don't hit one of these little sticks in the ground and run them over. It's Monday now. And I'm like trying to find Hear that? Okay <laughs> Guys uh, This is where I was parked I literally pulled in right there Like that's a bike lane Like, what, Am I okay? <sighs> There's like no part Oh I need a I need to back out of this way A little bit differently I don't know why I thought that that was A spot But clearly it's not Yeah it's a holiday so there's not that much parking. Can I park here? No, toe zone. I mean, I am just trying to go to a few stores right now. I'm gonna go to Bottega. Like, I don't have like a 
reason that I need. Oh my God, is the spot opening up? <laughs> this is when you know. When a spot is opening up literally right in front of where you need to go, it worked out better than I could have expected. But anyway, I'm going to Bottega. I don't know why. I honestly just want to browse. The other day when I went to Ramoa to drop off my suitcase, I ended up going into the Chanel store just to look around because it was right next door. And I saw some really, really cute bags. I saw this cute shoulder bag. It's like an evening bag. And I really liked it. But the only thing, I wish I took video. I never know if you can like, I don't know. I feel weird taking out my vlog camera and like recording stuff. I didn't want the people to get mad or just, I don't know. I don't want to be like weird recording everything. So I didn't, but I wish that I did because I wish that I could show you guys this bag that I saw. But anyway, basically it was a shoulder bag and it was like a little rectangle on a chain. It had a chain that looked just like this. And the thing is, is that it was the same leather as this bag and it had this on the top like the same exact gold bar that says chanel and it was just like a little had this same exact flap that you open up but you could literally just fit like your phone your lip gloss like it looked like this same the same details on this bag but it was a shoulder bag like an evening bag and i loved it but they also had it in silver and i was like okay this silver could be cute but i don't wear a lot of silver but maybe I should because I feel like silver's cute at night. But I don't know. I didn't even look to see how much it was either. But it's okay. I just want to also go look into Bottega because I have nothing else to do today. I just got a coffee at Greystone. Can you guys tell that I've had this much coffee? I feel like I'm like all over the place already. And oh my god. This is the part that I thought was funny. I had a dream last night. This is the second dream that I've had, mind you. And I was in Hermes and they offered me a mini Kelly. I don't know if it's because I've just been watching a lot of TikToks and the people who I watch, they will be using their mini Kelly. And I'm like, oh my God, I love that bag. And obviously they're so hard to get. Like I would never buy one like resale because they <laughs> are so expensive like people jack up the price like they're ridiculously expensive and obviously they're so hard to get just like offered one at the store you have to like buy a bunch of stuff from Hermes and I don't know so I got offered one in my dream and I think I asked I said like I was trying something on and I was like do you guys I know that you're not supposed to ask but like do you have any bags and they brought me out it was like a clutch version. I don't even know if they make that, but it was like a clutch version of the Kelly. It was like really small. And I remember being like, oh my God, I want it. And then a girl like called up and was like, yeah, we have one. And I, I don't know, it was just stupid, but not that I'm gonna like go in there today. <laughs> They're gonna offer me one. It was just a funny dream. But yeah, I am gonna go into Bottega and I guess where I was getting with that is that there's an Emma's right next door. But I did want to look for like, an everyday bag just look like I have no nothing on my radar but I have been using my Chanel just because it's like one of the biggest bags that I own I am such a small bag girl like I use my small bags I feel like I always just like buy small bags and use small bags but I have so much stuff that I'm carry that I carry with me day to day I have my vlog camera I have my wallet which is like actually it's like pretty big like this takes up a lot of room in a small bag and then we have my car keys which that's big my vlog camera obviously and then i have all of my lip products which like come on why do we need this many but yeah that's what i have in my bag and then i just have like hair ties and like random stuff and i feel like i just i don't know I get weird about like forgetting something at home or like not having it. So, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Okay, but we're gonna go in, run in quick, see, like I don't know, maybe try on some sunglasses, look at the bags, see what they have, maybe walk around a little bit. Oh, and I think parking is free today. 
because it's a holiday. So I don't even have to worry about parking. I'm gonna put my little gloves on. I'm also wearing a, I'm wearing like a one piece from Beyond Yoga. And I'm like, I kind of wish I didn't wear this because I have to pee and I'm gonna have to take off every single layer that I have. I'm gonna have to take off my puffer, my jacket layer, like stripped down. What a day we just had. Oh, Milo, mama was gone for a long time. Time for an update because I honestly went into Bottega. You guys know I was like, I just wanna browse. I just wanna look, I don't need anything. Whatever, I hadn't been in there in like so long. So I just want to see what they had. And I need to turn my heat up. One second, not it being so cold. But yeah, so anyway, we, I went to Bottega. I honestly should have logged when I was in there because there was nobody in the store and I didn't feel awkward at all. The workers were so nice. Tiffany and Jessica were their names. If you ever are in Boston, if you are looking to buy anything from Bottega and you're in Boston, make sure you go to the store here, if you live here, go to the store and ask for Tiffany and Jessica because they're so nice and I honestly had like the best experience. I was trying on so many bags and I ended up getting one which they had to order. Tiffany ordered it for me, it's gonna come in on Wednesday and I also got a little wallet which I'm excited about. I did like a unboxing on TikTok already because I got a few things from Hermes also. But this is the wallet I got. My everyday wallet is in my purse right now, but I, I don't know, I just like really wanted, I kinda wanted a card case and I was looking at them, but there weren't any colors that I liked and then I ended up seeing this wallet right here and I love the color, it's just like a small little wallet with areas for your cards. We have cash spot, change spot, and then there's two pockets right there and I love that you can just snap it and just fits in your purse. The color is so cute for spring and summer. And also my wallet that I have right now has so much stuff in it, like so much. And sometimes I only wanna bring like my ID, my credit card, and I always bring my health insurance card with me places, but like I only want a few things, especially like when I travel. And I always, need realize when i'm traveling i need cash because i like to tip like the people at the hotel and stuff if they help with my bags or if i say i get a car wash and i never have cash on me so i'm happy that this wallet has a little place for cash so i ended up getting this which i love i love 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 the color i can't wait to show you guys the bag i'll show you when it comes in also while I was at Bottega, I was talking with the girls, like we were just talking about bags and just fashion and everything. And I was like, I really want a mini Kelly. And I've been talking about, I told them about how I had a dream. I've had two dreams the past like month that I got offered a mini Kelly, <laughs> which like, if you're familiar with Hermes and you know how hard it is to get them, like you don't, you can't just walk in and be like, I want a bag from them. So, I went in the store today. I've been, like I bought quite a few items from the store in Boston. So I was talking to the girls at Bottega and Tiffany was like, I used to work at the Hermes store in New York. I worked there for years. And then the other girl said that she had a friend at Hermes and she was like, let me see if he's working today. I'll just text him. Maybe you can go over and meet him and chat with him. And then just like, obviously you need to get to know a sales associate and you need to be working with them and consistently buying things and all that. So I ended up meeting her friend and I bought her shoes and I bought a bracelet and I made my first wish list, which I did, have never made a wish list with them at all. So I put three bags on my wish list and I'm really excited. So we'll see what happens. I mean, I'm not in like any rush at all. I just, made it and we'll see what happens but i did see these shoes when i was in miami and i loved them but the miami store was so busy and we also went on like a sunday so nobody helped me out so i didn't even get to try them on i have these in a few colors already well i have the brown and then i have like the fuzzy and look how pretty this denim is i just love them and he was telling me that these are limited edition or 
not limited edition, but like this season and they're not gonna come back after this. So once they sell out, like they're sold out and they're not one of the colors that Hermes like brings back. So I really love those. I feel like they're just like gonna be so cute to style in the spring, in summer. And then I also got a bracelet, which I've been eyeing. Another bracelet that they have, it's like the chain link one that is like loose. And I've tried it on a few times. It just doesn't fit me right. But I got this one, which is so cute. It's like a cuff. And I have tiny, tiny wrists. So what I like is that you can put it on and like tighten it. And this added to my stack, I just think is gonna look so cute. It's just very chic, classy. It's timeless also so i'm really excited about that i obviously was not like looking to buy anything today or i didn't really have anything that i was eyeing and i ended up getting some really cute things which i'm excited about so i just want to show you guys what i got and i'm gonna make my dinner i'm gonna start cooking dinner i want to start making it well it's only four o'clock i still have time but yeah that's my little haul for the day Milo looks so cute right now. He's just not real. He looks like a little prince. <laughs> so when I was at the store, I'm going to tell you guys this story really quick. <sighs> My dog. Hello, excuse you. Because it really resonated with me. And the girl that was working at Bottega kept asking me, she's like, what do you do for workouts? Like, did you just come from workout? Because I'm obviously wearing my little workout set she was just like you look amazing and she was so nice and made me feel so good about myself and i was just like wait this is like i feel like you don't realize like how much your words can affect people so if you ever are thinking about complimenting somebody about something that you like about them definitely tell them because you never know what that person's going through or what they feel about themselves and moral of the story what <laughs> is to always just like tell people how you feel because that made my day and I feel like not so much now but definitely in the past like when I was in college after I stopped playing hockey and I went off to college I was like not insecure about my body like I was still confident but there were things about my body that I really wanted to change like I really wanted to have like skinny skinny legs and my legs naturally just like aren't like that I wasn't born like that I'm not built like that. Like I had to walk on the treadmill for 45 minutes to an hour every single day to try to lean out my legs. And I didn't touch weights because my body gains muscle very easily. So I was like super scared of getting like bulky. And I just would do so much cardio. Like I would run on the treadmill and do like interval sprints. I would walk every single day, never touched a weight. I would do like abs. And I just feel like... I started to embrace my body as I got older and just like the way that I am naturally and how God created me and I feel like I am the most confident with my body now that I have ever been in my life and it was just so nice to hear somebody else like giving you a compliment on something that you used to feel insecure about so yeah it just made me feel really really good and uh, I just wanted to tell you guys that also if you are feeling insecure about your body or the way that you look maybe i don't know this would help you because i completely understand how that feels because i've been there but don't feel like you need to go crazy in the gym or like drastically make like drastic changes in your life in order to like change the way that you look like i understand wanting to be like the healthiest version of yourself but i don't know i just feel like the way that you were created and like the body that you have is so beautiful so just embrace it and embrace the way that you look and the way that you are i'm gonna end off this vlog here because i feel like i've been vlogging so much the past few days i want to get this video up for you guys but thank you guys so much for watching i'm so excited to finally be 100 percent healthy and back i just feel like i don't know when you're sick you don't realize like how much we take our health for granted until you literally can't 
get out of bed or do anything that you normally do in your daily routine so i'm like so grateful to be healthy again and just excited to get back into filming and vlogging tiktoks and just like creating content and working honestly having taken some time off just made me feel very refreshed and inspired and yeah <laughs> so anyway i love you guys so much excited for what's to come and just very grateful for each and every one of you guys all day every day you know i love ya like are you serious are you serious <gasps> oh okay love you guys see you in my next video bye